Hey guys, today we are in Sevierville, Tennessee on the Winfield Dunn Parkway in front of Zaxby's. They came out with a new fried chicken Philly this week. We're gonna go in there and get that. And I'm gonna try one of their signature spicy chicken sandwiches. I never had one of those. And I think they have some funnel cake in there. Might as well get that while we're there. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Zaxby's new Philly. The garlic aioli, grilled peppers, and onions with melty cheese make it a Philly. But the chicken makes it Zaxby's. Try it fried or grilled. Woo, saucy. Zaxby's. This is our first time of ever going into a Zaxby's. There are 900 locations, and they are in 19 states. Just don't have any where we live. Well, we came in for the new chicken Philly. We're gonna get the grilled one. It's $9.29 for a combo. It says they marinate their chicken for 12 hours here. I'm gonna try their spicy signature sandwich. That is $8.60 combo. Figured we'd pick up some classic funnel cake for $3.49 and try the peach sweet tea. All right, guys, the food came and it came fast. Here is the signature spicy chicken. Look at all that spicy sauce on there. Let's take a look at Bobby's Grilled Chicken Philly. This consists of grilled chicken, savory garlic aioli, melted American cheese, grilled peppers, and onions on a toasted hoagie bun. That is loaded with stuff and some crinkle cut fries. You know why I picked this food? I have an idea. The man in black's picture is right there. You couldn't have picked a better table. That's what I thought. I was going to get the fried chicken, but the young lady said she thought the grilled chicken tasted better with the cheese and everything. It's probably more like the Philly over probably the fried chicken anyhow, but look at all that. I know. They loaded that up with all kinds of toppings. Give them one more look, Bobby. Just one more look out there. I, I mean, it's heavy. You I don't probably want to can't even it open it without spilling it. Yeah, all right, we'll give them another look because later. It's a very nice presentation. It is. It did a great job. That is a very good sandwich. I'm glad the young lady suggested the grilled chicken. The toasted bun. Look at all those peppers and onions. Oh, I don't want to lose my chicken. Oh, no, it's full. I love the flavors of onions and peppers together. I just, I love the smell. The cheese is very creamy. I don't get a lot of garlic flavor from the aioli, but it could be more in here. You can see I just ate the end. This is a very good sandwich. Something big, something huge is taking over the world of chicken sandwiches. Zaxby's new signature sandwich with Zack sauce or new spicy Zack sauce. Because the chicken sandwich war ain't over yet. The new signature sandwich, it's taking over. And it's only at Zaxby's. Signature spicy chicken sandwich. It has a potato bun on there. There's the chicken filet. Let's flip it over. Look on the bottom of it, see if we can see some pickles. Three pickles. All right. Let's try it out. Now their chicken is hand breaded here. Comes in frozen, but not already breaded. They loaded me up with the sauce though, guys. I'm all about that. I think this is gonna be good. I'm gonna bite it right there and get some of that pickle. You get that afterburn on this sauce. I like this sauce. It's like a cayenne and jalapeno mix. A little bit of sweetness and butter flavor from this potato bun and some sourness from these pickles. Again, oh, that sauce. So this is very good. I need a Popeye's one here or a KFC to compare to see which one I like the best because I am enjoying this. I don't think this is as big as the Popeye's filet that we usually get. 
but I do like it and I would get this again. Very juicy too and tender. And I upgraded a dollar for some peach tea. They put peach flavoring right in it and they just make it for you. You don't eat it out of the machine. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's probably the best peach tea I've ever had. It's sweet, like the southern tea should be, but the peaches taste just like you went out to the peach orchard and picked them yourself. It's so flavorful. I would definitely pay the extra dollar to upgrade to this. We had to get the Zach sauce with our crinkle fries. They gave us plenty of those. I'm gonna really dip that in there so I can taste it. It's like dipping your fries in a zesty Thousand Island Ranch. The fries were warm and they have a little bit of salt on them. We came in here for the new filling. I'm gonna try it. Now that is very good, guys. You can really taste those onions and peppers in there. That bun, even though it's toasted, is soft. You couldn't taste that garlic aioli on there, but you could taste the cheese, how it blends in well with everything. That's a good sandwich. I think they did a great job on that. That might be better than getting fried because the chicken flavor really comes through mm -hmm. on that. Bobby's going to try the spicy chicken to see if it's too hot for her to eat. It might be because look at all the sauce on there. It looks hot. Oh my God. Right there are the pickles. I get a little bit of heat, but nothing that I could not handle. I could eat this sandwich. The chicken is tender. I like the potato bun. It was nice and soft. I'm not sure which one I would get now that I tried this. I don't know, and I love spicy chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite things, but that Philly you have is pretty good. I didn't think I would like it like that. I want you to see how big some of these chicken pieces are. Look at that. Chicken's very tender. This is an excellent sandwich. I love all the American cheese they put in there. Well, we decided to get some funnel cake for $3.49. Some caramel dip. This came out a few months ago. It's not brand new, but it's new to us since we've never been in one of these restaurants before. It smells really good. Dip it there. It's very good. It's hot. Put plenty of powdered sugar on top of it. The edges are a little crunchy and the inside is soft. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of the caramel. I do like the caramel. I think I like the flavor of the funnel cake by itself. Sometimes I'll buy these little caramel packs and put my apples in and slice them up. All right, guys, I'm gonna try it. It's golden brown. It's not far enough. It doesn't look overly crisp, and I can see that it's soft on the inside. Well, tastes just like a funnel cake should. It's coming from a fast food restaurant. Crispy on the outside, soft on the middle. You know what, I'm gonna eat it just like this with the powdered sugar on it. I'm not even gonna dip it in the caramel sauce. Well worth $3.49. All right, let's take a look at our receipt here at Zaxby's. There's the address. I had the spicy chicken combo for $8.60. Bobby had the grilled Philly combo $9.29 and I upgraded my drink for a dollar more for that awesome peach iced tea. Funnel cake, $3.49, grand total, 2501. Well, we just left Zaxby's after trying out their new grilled chicken Philly. What did you think about it? We've tried a lot of new food items lately for fast food. And this one, I'm gonna say, was probably the best it one. Was good. They uh, mm -hmm. prepared it just like the pitcher. They loaded that sandwich up with so much chicken. You saw how long the pieces were, the peppers and the onions and the cheese. The aioli sauce, which I didn't really get a lot of flavor from that. But I, with all those peppers and everything else, it just blended so well. It was a toasted bun, but soft on the inside. That was a heavy sandwich, it wasn't was. it? When you tried it, it really, mm -hmm. I don't have to know how much that thing weighed. I hope they keep this one on the menu. I know it's only a limited time, but maybe they'll get a lot of comments and keep that one. I know, it was very good. I don't know if the fried chicken one could beat that one. And we love fried chicken. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad the young lady told me to get the grilled chicken. I think that one did better with mm -hmm. all the flavors and the cheese and everything. Everything blended in well. If you mm -hmm. like peppers and onions, you're really going to taste them in there with that chicken and that cheese. Like Bobby said, it has garlic aioli on it. I couldn't taste none of that. I didn't get any garlic flavor. That was one of the better items that we have yes. tried. My favorite thing in there, though, was that peach tea. 
I love sweet tea, and that is some of the best tea I've ever had. I mean, they did a great job on that, but I'm gonna tell you guys, if you don't like sweet, I mean sweet, sweet, yeah. do not get that. That's almost sweeter than Popeye's sweet tea. I did like it too. It just had a strong, mm -hmm. peachy flavor. It did. And the spicy chicken, I enjoyed that. I know I read an article and they listed the top chicken sandwiches in the nation. Popeye's was number one. This was number two, so I wanted to try that. And it did deliver. Mm -hmm. It's not overly spicy. The filet was great. I know it comes in frozen. They hand bread it there. Did a good job on that. Everything about this meal was good and the funnel cake. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the funnel cake too. Now the price, $9.29 for Bobby's Philly Combo, $8.60 for mine, $3.49 again on that funnel cake. A great value for lunch or dinner, guys. Very friendly staff inside. Amber, thanks for the suggestion on the grilled chicken. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.